we know you have one rapist grandfather. What about what else do you have? Who's on the other my, side? My dad. Well, got, that's got that's got a into type gambling. of gambling, you know. <laughs> gambling with the law. <laughs> Okay, so gambler slash rapist. Um, what are you talking about? The like, other grandfather? Yeah, give us yeah, give us a little background. I heard he was a very weak man, and he got bullied by his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I never met him. I just heard it, I just heard about his weakness. It's That's legendary. Hilarious. So yeah. so you so we know what you inherited my, from my, the, both of them. My mom's uh, mom used to do this thing after her husband died when my parents were dating or like a young couple, where she'd like she had a man's watch in the house. And she would leave it on the bedside table. Oh my god! Next to uh, just to simulate the other side him? of the table to like make my parents think that she was getting dick. What? Yeah. Why? She was weird lady. Is that the one? Who's she was notoriously divorced a bunch. No, no. This this is my mom's. Really? House. She was also notoriously cheap, and she'd like oh, she'd shocker. have us over for dinner. What? Was, she was the most cheap person in the family. Oh she'd my god! She'd have us over for dinner, <laughs> and she'd buy a piece of meat. And like the running joke would be like she'd take it out of the oven. As you know, when you cook meat, it shrinks. Yeah. She she would always say, "Oh, you should have seen the size of it uh, before I put it in." That's what I say yeah. about my dick. Yeah, exactly. when it gets hard. Well, it's the, it's <laughs> <laughs> it shrinks when it gets hard. But like it would be hilarious. I'd have to go over to her house for dinner because she moved to Vegas before she died, and uh, she'd give us like you know three peas, like a carrot. Jesus Christ! <laughs> like, it was like. Good God. It was like, yeah. It was, so she really lived up to the old Jewish country, hype. Old country Jewish. You oh, know? that's awesome. I mean, even though she was South African, it was like. She was here freaking. It was like that, that generation is. Which is country? The bank? Ha ha. Yeah, yeah. No, the. <laughs> is that where they Africa? lived? At that's the bank? Good. That's good. No, but like that whole generation is almost completely dead now. You know, Thank I love God, in Philly, yeah. there's the U.S. Mint where they make the pennies. And then directly upwind is the Jewish American History Museum. <laughs> <laughs> upwind. <laughs> like, upwind. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. We, we got a pennies. great location right next to the bakery. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. Just walking through that neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. I was all drunk at like 11 o'clock in the morning when I made that discovery. That's beautiful. Yeah. In Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is the funniest thing I've ever <laughs> <laughs> hey, come here! I gotta tell you something. I'm not, I'm I'm part of the field trip. I'm not part of the field trip, but you, I could be. I went to school. Let me relive my childhood via your field trip. I promise I won't breathe in any of the kids' mouths. You're just alone in the back of the line. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I went in the mid. There was literally no one in there. Mm. I did. I'd walk through it. My that's a that's like a very shitty place to tour. Is the yeah. U.S. Mint in Philadelphia? They Wait, just you make can coins? just take pennies? No, you can't do Relax, any of that. Adam. You'd fucking okay, sorry. I was just asking you first. You go in. You <laughs> go up an escalator. There's a single hallway filled with a couple of plaques and windows into like the, you know, where they the stamp machines? out the sheets yeah. of pennies and cut them or whatever. And then, uh, and then you go down another escalator that exits through the gift shop, and that's like that's pretty much it. Nice, you know. Can you not, buy like penny T-shirts? They have they have a gift <laughs> shop, and then when I went into the gift shop, <laughs> that'd be a nice gift for me. <laughs> if when I went into the gift shop, is... shut the fuck up. Okay, <laughs> shut up, please. I'm sorry, dude. He went into a gift shop. Can we figure out how this ends, please? I know it's not even that good of a story, <laughs> but you have to like keep making this T-shirt joke over and over again. <laughs> I just made it once. No, you said it two or three times. Two you times. said, is there a penny t-shirt? That would be a good birthday <laughs> present for me. I, I like the range of Adam <laughs> impressions we have on yeah, the show. I appreciate that that was the <laughs> yeah. least gay impression. This is me done. trying to save money. <laughs> this is me thinking I'm funny. <laughs> It's the different modes of Adam. It's yeah. true. I am Dr. Like, Pussy. I'm like that movie Mr. Inside Out. I got all different types of things inside of me. That's good. Yeah. Mostly man. You're like dumb. that movie In and Out where where Kevin Klein. He's gay. He's not he th gay. He thinks he's gay and then he turns out he's not gay. He just, mm. he likes drama. <laughs> <laughs> is that the plot of a movie? The plot of the movie is is like there's some gay guy that becomes famous mm -hmm. and he's like I just really want to thank my high school English teacher who was the first gay person I knew, you know, back in my small town in Maine or whatever, and Kevin Klein plays the teacher and he's like he thinks I'm gay and everyone's like <laughs> Really? Yeah, and everyone's like, Yeah, we all thought you were gay and he's That's like, hilarious. Maybe I'm gay And he starts sucking cock yeah, just yeah, to see. Yeah. yeah, he goes on like a little truck stop tour. Nice. 
getting yeah, getting hogged holes. out by a couple of convoy boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> goes to a bunch of <laughs> and uh, bathrooms. <laughs> you know, hell yeah. And dude. then you know he does enough burning the candle on both ends. Gets diagnosed with HIV. Gets fired from the job at the school. He actually gets AIDS. No, oh, I'm dude. making I'm making a much better movie. <laughs> yeah. So it's just a movie about a guy who sucks cock. I'm, in his I'm imagining a movie called The Teacher. Nice. Directed by me. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, just gay porn. Yeah. But, you know, it's Oscar worthy. Oh, of course, brother. Um <laughs> and in fact the 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 <laughs> name of the main character is Oscar Winner. Oh, <laughs> that's good. <Nice>. Yeah. <laughs> so when they read it off. It opens the movie opens and it's it's uh it's in sepia tone, right? Of course. But then mm. there's neon highlighting. So it's a, it's a visual style where you say, what is this? Is it the past? Is it the oh, future? Oh, yes. It's a little bit of both, guys. It's mm-hmm. about the dichotomy of, uh, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Sh- we, we see a bathroom. There's a trans person <laughs> just covered in fucking needles like a porcupine. Okay. You know, okay. just got uh, hypodermic needles sticking out of them. They're overdosing. Mm. And then... A Republican is having sex with the trans person's mouth, oh. and then they go, they go, don't tell anybody about this. I'm a Republican senator, that is and they powerful. leave. And then, uh, and then a, a black guy comes in. And he says something racist about Chinese people, oh. and someone says, "You can't say that. You're black." And he's like, "Yeah, it makes you think, doesn't it?" Whoa, they nuance. can be racist. Oh, they're too. not all friends. They're not all friends. Exactly. Yeah. What? Yeah, I thought then, all uh, minorities were friends. Yeah. And then a white girl moves to Bushwick, and a, a Puerto Rican guy teaches her how to have sex. Wait, that's until a movie. Her, Did until, you see that yeah, movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are all movies, Adam. <laughs> I'm creating the oh, greatest. Oh, you're doing Crash, I guess, the last I'm one. creating the greatest movie of all time. Oh, if you yeah, would yeah. just allow me to direct, please, <laughs> and not fucking interrupt. Your what job is, is to bring people bagels from wherever your secret little place is. What is, what is the, what is That's the, your <laughs> job on this production. Do you have a secret bagel place? Of course, of course he does. I have a secret bagel Can I know place. where it is? He, yeah. he volunteered there with a little organization known as the IDF. <laughs> His secret bagel yep. place. Para- paratroopers. <laughs> Best, uh, I love this idea for this movie. Yeah. Anyhow. Yeah. And then Oscar Winner is the gay guy in the middle of it. Beautiful. Played by, uh, I don't know, let's say that dude from uh, 12 Years a Slave. Ch- Chichito. Ooh, Chinewe, Chinchilla. Um, Chipotle. Chinua Achebe. Chinua Chinua Chipotle. Is Chinua, Ch- things Fall Apart. Oscar That's Winner. the guy who wrote Things Fall Apart. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, what, Maharaja Ali? Is that the guy's name? No, that's Moonlight. Yeah, the Maharaji Yogi. Uh, he was the guy that gave the Beatles LSD for the first Really? Time. Was I it an Indian know. guy? No, I, I think that that's after the LSD. They wanted to like learn how to trick what do you call a, drugs. What do you call an Indian guy that does acid? What? That's, that might be too... Micro dot head. Is that too bad? <laughs> yeah. too racist? A little bit of acid. That's good. Yeah. That's no, that right. checks out. Um... Yeah, the Mint does seem like a shitty-ass place to take a field trip, though, dude. I don't know. My favorite shit no, was No, this the... wasn't a field trip. This is me by myself drunk. as an adult <laughs> man drunk at 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Why were you in Philly? Uh, I was working Helium. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. That used to be one of my favorite clubs to go to. I've never done it. I can't anymore. Why? I'm banned from Philadelphia. Uh, for for, the for entire what reason? City? Yeah, they kicked me out. For what? Um... Believe it or not, I was somehow too racist for Philadelphia. <laughs> no. That's not possible. Dude, that was fake, dude. That's not possible. It's real. You were too racist? I was. I got too real in old Philadelphia. Damn, bro. You got kicked out of Geno's for being too racist. I said Ben racist. Franklin's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you never talk about no Franklin like that. Don't you never talk about Benny Franks like that. Ben Spanklin. Ben Spank Banklin. Oh, nice. That's he... It's him beating off. He invented remembering things to jack off to. <laughs> no joke. Franklin probably had a pretty good spank bank. Dude. For like back in the day. You keep trying to sell this Ben.